What's up guys? So Claude launched a pretty amazing feature where you can prompt Claude and it can do stuff in your computer and it's called computer use. Their demo is amazing and it takes the Azentic workflow to a whole new level. If you want to read the official blog post then I'll link them in the description below. So without any delay let's get started. First and foremost you need a Claude API key which you can get from the console. I'll link the document below to generate yours. Once you have that export them in your terminal. Then I'm going to go to their quick starts github repository where you can find the computer use demo. It contains all the instructions to run the computer demo on your local machine. So we are going to follow that and see how it looks. Since this feature is in beta and since it can basically take control over your computer and send screenshot to the servers, we don't really want any sensitive data leaking. For safety, we are going to run it in a docker container like the document suggests. So I've already exported my anthropic API key. So I'm going to copy the rest of the docker run command and paste it on my terminal. I've already downloaded the image so it's going to be a bit faster. And if you have application running on any of these ports, make sure you close those application or make sure you change these ports to something else. Our application will be running on the port 8080. So our demo is ready. So let's check it out. As you can see, we are running a XFCE based virtual machine, I believe on the right hand side and we have this prompt window where, you, where we can ask the Claude API to do tasks on our behalf. And they also have this tab for HTTP exchange logs where you will be seeing all the network requests. So for my first prompt, I'm going to put what is the price of gold in Dubai today and convert it to USD and Nepali rupees. So let's see how it does that. It's a very basic use case, but it's going to open web browser, search and do all of the research. So it's pretty interesting to see. As you can see, this is running a agent on the background and it has given tools to the agent, specifically your whole operating system. And the way it works is that it's taking screenshots of the desktop and it's sending it as base64 encoded to the server so that it scans the image and figures out what to do with it and what kind of action it can take. Like you can see, it says tool use computer and input is action, move the mouse and coordinate on the screen. It has left action click. And as you can see on the side, it says that 24 carat is 331 dirhams per gram. Uh, all of this. Uh, okay, so it's checking the USD and Nepalese price. Yep, it's searching the Google. I think the results are coming in Arabic because I'm in Dubai, so it might be difficult. Let's see, I mean, like how smart this is or how well it can work. Uh, while it's doing that, let's go and see the HTTP exchange logs. So the there are plenty of network requests. So on each of this request, we can see uh, the tool use. It's using computer action is screenshot. And uh, yeah, I think we can also see the system prompt here. What Claude is feeding to these APIs. So you are utilizing a Ubuntu based virtual machine. So forgive me for saying it's an XFC early on. Uh, you can feel free to install uh, open Firefox. Uh, all of this X11 configurations, I believe. And it can also use terminal, zoom, computer functionality and all of these things. So it's really cool. I mean, like it's doing all of that with just prompts. So let's get back to the chat window and see if we have our result. And yeah, we do. So 24 karat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to double check it. I will just assume it's true. So but basically it gave me a result by using the computer on its own. So that in itself is pretty amazing. So it did all of this in how many logs, sorry, how many API requests? One, two, three, four, five, six API requests. So not bad. Now let's do something different. I'm going to ask the model to get the first three videos uh, from my YouTube channel and put it as a link in a text document. Let's see how it does that. So there is a close Firefox dialog. I think yeah, it closed it pretty fast. It took my URL. It opened it up. So it needs to grab the first three links for the video that we see on the screen. So let's see if it's able to do that. It's taking a lot of screenshots. I'm going to fast forward this part so that we get to the result or also if we get stuck in it. It's basically halted at this point. Okay. So it has generated the link to all of my videos. So the chat window hung up for maybe two minutes or one and a half minutes. It felt pretty long, but 
it immediately showed this part that it's putting all the links on a text file so let's check the first video is amazon linux 2023 uh, if i copy this url and go here it does not work okay so let's try the next url it does not work as well so yeah i mean like there's this last one let's try that in my earlier test while i was preparing for this video mm, two out of six links worked, but right now it's not even working uh there's an api error as well so but the api error occurred after it gave me the results so i'm just going to restart all of this but basically if you are trying this on your own and you want to give context to the model about what it can look at the screen and what it should be doing then you should come here click on this uh, by default it's view only so if you uncheck this you can basically navigate around the ui uh, you can open up the documents you can open up different websites and ask it to crawl and get data from it you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it so although it's in beta it's pretty impressive so with these two prompts let's see how much tokens we are using so if i go to the anthropic console and look at my logs it's 1 17 a.m yeah i got pretty excited so i decided to record it now but yeah i mean the recent tokens are not there i think they are getting a lot of traffic but as you can see there are 21,000 tokens 21,000 18,000 on average it's using around 15,000 to 18,000 tokens which is quite decent depending on how deep your pocket is for day-to-day -day personal uses but since it's sending so much data to the server mostly image with page 64 encoding the token size will be large all in all this is really amazing i can only imagine how better this is going to get with more uses data and more improvements in the model it's very likely that the open source community will catch up within a month or so which will be more secure approach with model running in device or private compute which i prefer given the amount of data and privacy concerns involved in this if you want to see the latest updates on this model or the open source model when it comes out make sure to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one